Last night I got to play another game of CEDH with some very solid players, so I really appreciate them allowing me to play a game with them and learning so much from the experience. So I played against Magda, Animar, and Atraxa Grand Unifier last night. Players were super nice and really helpful and very friendly, and it was a blast playing with them. I learned a lot from playing with them, mostly because the first game I went hard and then petered out really fast and just sat there and did nothing the whole time, which was great because I got to just spectate and watch these players play the game and see how they operate and like what they know and their knowledge and all that stuff. So it was great to be able to spectate the game. So my initial impressions of CEDH before even playing the game was that players were like hyper competitive and you know, they tight plays and there's no room for error. And like, if you made a mistake, like you'll get punished hard for it. So that kind of idea scared me away from CEDH a little bit. I imagine that's how a lot of uh, other casual players imagine that it is, but it wasn't like that at all. So I learned that CEDH can actually be pretty casual. There was a lot of uh, misplays and mistakes that were made and players would allow you to take things back and um, they would even maybe correct you with some things or tell you like what the right play or the best play might be. Especially your opponents will, are willing to help you out a little bit more since they're also trying to stop somebody from winning the game. So they'll let you know what things they would advise to look out for or what they feel like would be the right thing to look out for or to hold on to. And it wasn't anything like they were trying to get me to use my resources just to use it because my resources are just as important as them being able to use their resources at stopping a player from ending the game. So that's the feeling that I got from that. Playing some 60 card competitive formats in the past, I've gotten the feeling of like your opponents aren't gonna like help you out with anything with the game. You know, it's all kind of on you to try to make the best plays. But with CEDH at the end of the day, it is still a multiplayer format and there are some politics that can be involved. Something that I would like to work on is being able to speak out a little more and talk to the table, maybe work out some deals or collaborate with them a little bit to stop other players from winning the game. But we played two games. The first one, I kind of did nothing and got to spectate and I learned a lot from that. The second one, I was a little bit more prepared, knew a little bit more what to look out for. And I came out pretty hard out of the gate with Slicer and I was able to take out two players in that game. I do think I made a few mistakes there and that's just something that I need to be cognizant of. There was a turn where I did a Jessica's Will and I revealed the Tangle Wire off the top. And I didn't end up casting that tangle wire, which I think would have helped me to close out the game. But because of this, the, one of the other players got to get out a one ring and then Karn and make that one ring a indestructible blocker for my <laughs> slicer. So I wasn't able to close out the game because of that. I think I was kind of worried that maybe that they had some interaction for my slicer. So I wanted to keep up my plaza of heroes to be able to protect my slicer. But if that was the case, they probably would have used that at some point anyways. Two of them did try to stop my slicer. They were pretty open about divulging that information if they had something for slicer. I shouldn't have been too worried about the removal spells. So I think I need to be able to learn kind of being able to put two and two together that if a player had the removal, they would have used it anyways. I think I was okay to just play the tangle wire rather than try to keep a protection for my slicer. I also did forget about the tangle wire, but I think I need to just be able to pay more attention to my board and uh, what's going on. Be more cognizant, cogn try to be more cognizant of my plays. Also, it seems like rule zero isn't really a thing. The most rule zero that I've kind of experienced is that maybe a player will say that they're not running a certain card, maybe to just get a little bit of heat off of them or something like that. Rule zero talk, it's not really necessary since all players know what they're trying to get into and they're all trying to just go the hardest and everybody knows that and understands that. So you don't really need to have that conversation, which is kind of nice compared to like casual formats where you always have to have that rule zero conversation. And sometimes the conversation can be off. There can be some power levels that are different from other decks. Players can get salty that way. So far from my small sample size, it hasn't seemed that way. All players seem to understand and nobody really gets salty over things. At the end of the day, everyone's just trying to win the game as fast as possible. So if you do make a suboptimal play, I think other players will kind of stop you and maybe say, hey, this might be a better option right here. And the other players can all kind of talk to each other and say what they feel is the best. Ultimately, it is up to you to decide what you want to do. But uh, I think players kind of understand each other's you know, thought processes and are okay with that. And they don't really get salty salty because of that. So far, I've been enjoying the format. I would like to try other decks. The Atraxa decks seem pretty sweet. All that value that it like accrued and gained, that was 
pretty cool to me. I, I, that sounds like fun. But I'll have to do a little bit more exploring and maybe eventually try to brew my own decks. I still do love casual formats, being able to play with like janky cards. I do, do enjoy that and that's something CEDH, unfortunately you can't do because you're just gonna lose every time. Not that winning's always the goal for, at least for me, but. I do want to play with my jank every once in a while. Also limited. I'm a big limited player too. And uh, Lord of the Rings, I'm pretty addicted to right now. So Arena is taking up a lot of my time. But it's nice to have CEDH in my arsenal as well. Also, there is some gameplay footage of that game that I played. So I'll let you all know once that video is up. Shout out to these awesome people. And thanks for watching.